Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'd like to present you a dashcam from Mio. It's the model C570 and I bought it because my old dashcam just died. As you can see this is how the box looks like. We have a picture with the camera here. Here we don't have anything. On this side we have some specifications. It has a Sony optic sensor so the quality of the image should be quite good. It is full HD. It shoots at 30 frames per second. For me, it's enough. The wide angle, it's 150 degrees. Again, more than enough. And as you can see in the box, we'll find the camera, the charger, the mounting bracket, and the quick start guide. And here we have other specifications. Yeah, in many languages. And that's it. Okay, and here we have the serial number. This is it. Uh, it's important to know that this camera uh, doesn't come with the Wi-Fi application. So if you want to see the movies that you recorded with the camera, you have to use the camera screen or you have to take out the SD card, the micro SD card and put it in a smartphone or in another device in order to be able to see the, um, the videos. Okay, let's jump inside the box. So here we have the charger, let's have a look at it, okay the cable is very very long, the charger, uh, okay the output is 5 volts and 2 amps, so if you are not going to use the original charger and this is my case I'm not going to use it because I need to use um, also a cable to charge my phone so I will use a car charger with two USB ports you need to make sure that one of the USB ports uh, the output of uh, the USB port is 5 volts and 2 amps at least one of the output and the connector it's the old uh, mic uh, this is I think mini USB yeah it's very old so you need a mini USB cable okay this is the cable this is the mounting this is the mounting bracket and it comes with this system I like it I like this system I don't like the ones that you stick directly to the windshield and it's very compact as you can see it fits into my hand Okay, we have the quick start guide, user manuals and so on and the warranty. I'm not going to read them because come on, it's not very complicated. And this is the box, it's empty and this is the camera. Let me put the box aside. The camera is very small, very compact, compared to my hand, this is the size, it's very nice, I like it. Here on the front of the camera we have the lens and of course it's Sony lens, night vision and so on. This is the mounting port, so basically it will slide in the uh, suction cup. Because as you can see this comes with a suction cup and uh, it will slide into this suction cup support let me check okay it's like this is yes. so it will stay like this this will go to the windshield you stick it and then you put the camera so let's come back to the camera on this side we have the connectors this is the slot for the micro usb it supports cards up to 128 gigabytes it's enough. This is the mini USB connector. On this side we have some buttons. This is the emergency rec button and other buttons. Here we have the camera name. And I think and here we have a small microphone. And that's it. 
and I think here we have the speaker because the camera also comes with a speaker this should be the speaker and this is the screen it's a two inch screen it comes with this plastic rock I'll take it out as you can see it has GPS on it because it comes with GPS and um, it comes with also with impact sensor so basically if you leave the camera in your car it has parking surveillance so if someone is hitting your car this camera will automatically record but you need to make sure that you have a constant power supply okay this is the camera now I'm not I'm not in the car but I want to start it so I have an external battery with me this is the external battery it is fast uh, it is a fast charging battery so it should work we'll see I want to power it on it's for the first time when I'm doing this so we'll see together so as you can see the LED it's another LED here this is the screen okay and it boots up quite fast but I don't have a micro SD card I have to buy one for the moment I have an old one uh, this is a 16 gigabyte one I need to insert it okay make sure that you hear a click when you insert it and it should be fine and now the, the card is detected and it started to record and you can see here you have a blinker and a sign and a sign that it's recording so the LED and the blinker here indicates that it's recording and uh, I suppose that when you drive here you can see the speed but for the moment there is no speed and here also from what I can see it's a little X meaning that I don't have GPS coverage because the camera as I mentioned it has GPS so when I'll be outside in the car probably I'll not get this little X here but let's have a look at the menu so probably this is the menu button okay so what do we have let me see how so we navigate with these two buttons we select with this button and we go back with this button so let's select okay I have only one file so basically if you want to see the movies you go here let's go back here we have the emergency recordings here we have the parking recording so for example if someone hit your car in the parking here you'll find the recordings and here you will find photos that you've taken with the camera okay let's go back here let's see what do we have oh so basically you can take a picture here yes let's go back let's see what else sound recording on off okay leave it on what else safety cam I don't know what is it detection I have no idea what safety cam is so in the end I have to read the manual ah, okay okay this is the radar uh, radar camera so if you want to get alerted if there is a radar camera the camera can do it and it has some um, cameras recorded in the memory but if you connect it to the laptop it will automatically download new cameras via the Mio application okay I see and here you have a lot of settings for these radar cameras let's see okay okay let's go back parking mode let's see what we have here detection on off so basically if you leave your camera in the car when it's parked you select on in order to record the events let's go back video recording this is the interesting part okay what is the length of the clip one minute three minutes five minutes I'll set it to three minutes okay 
uh, wide dynamic range let's see on off i leave it on ev so the brightness okay this is something you need to play with while you are in the car because right now i'm inside so i cannot tell the difference back frequency what is this Oh, 50 Hz or 60 Hz, I leave it uh, default. And now what else we have G sensor sensitivity. So basically when someone is hitting your car, how sensible the camera should be in order to start recording. I'm not going to use the camera for parking detection, so I don't care. Stamps. So basically what you can see on the video so coordinates and the G sensor speed stamp so you want if you want to see the speed on your uh, videos let's see on or off let's put it to off text stamp I suppose this is the camera name okay here you can write something I don't know my camera or car camera something like this and it will appear on the video and privacy mode what is this i don't know what it is this so if you want to know read the manuals let's see system okay this is the status of the gps i'm inside there are no satellites available date and time use gps time or manual time i'm going to use the gps time system sound if you want to disable the sound that you hear when i'm pressing the buttons i want to leave it on welcome sound if you want to deactivate it or not i leave it on the volume I leave it to mid, LCD standby, always on, head up display and see, one minute, okay, I'll set it to one minute, language, so as you can see it has a lot of languages, English, Spanish, Portuguese, Okay, a lot of languages. I'll keep it to English. Units. I'll keep it to metric because this is how I read units. And here we have the storage allocation. Basically, it shows you how the memory card is split in between the normal video, emergency videos and photos. Let's go back. And if you want to restore the camera to default, you can do it by pressing this button here. I don't want for the moment. And here you, you can see the version. So for example, is the firmware of the camera and as I told you, the safety camera, so the radars. And the last item is the format of the SD card. So if you want to format the SD card, just go here and format it. I'm going to format it now. And it's done. So if you want to take and to record emergency videos, you just press this button here and it will record emergency video, meaning that it will keep it in the memory. The video will not be overwritten. And if you want to stop, just press once more. And if you want to take a picture, just press this button and it will take a picture. This is how the camera looks like. It's very compact, very simple. I like it. The materials are premium, matte black plastic so it's not prone to fingerprints and this is how you mount it in on the windscreen so basically you take the support you push you slide it here this is how it looks you press the support to the windshield by pressing this button the, the suction cup will stick to the windshield 
If you want to release it, you just pull the button. If you want to put it back, you just press the button or the lever, how you want to call it. And this is it. And if you want to adjust it, so while you have this on the windshield, you simply rotate the camera in any direction you want. And, and once you adjust it, you leave it like that. And that's it. Okay, so I'm going to take it to the car. I'm going to record with it and I'm going to show you at the end of the video some samples. Guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Thanks.